Welcome everyone, you may be trying to update to iOS 15.2 and when you try to, you get an error. So 15.2 right here, when you download the software update and then tap on install now, you get an error saying software update failed and error occurred while installing or downloading iOS 15.2. This tutorial will cover exactly how to fix it. So there's a bunch of fixes. The first one is to simply just restart your iPhone or iPad or iPod. So in order to do this, you just need to hold down the power button until you see here, slide the power off. If you instead get Siri activated when you hold down the power button, you will need to hold down power and volume down together until you see this menu, then slide the power off and then give, you know, around 10 seconds or so. Once that passes, hold down the power button again and then your device should turn back on Then just try again. The next fix is you want to go to settings and then you want to go to general and then you want to find here iPhone, iPad or iPod touch storage. And inside of here, you just want to delete any files to free up storage. You will need at least 10 gig in order to update to the latest software version. Just keep that in mind. You will need to delete some files uh, if you don't have 10 gig. Otherwise, the download will fail and then you get the uh, software update failed uh, error. So what you can do here is let's say you have some large file. Let's say this game, you can uh, either offload the app so that your data stays, but the actual app itself is uninstalled. So uh, you'll essentially remove the app without removing your data, or you can delete the application entirely to save a bit more storage. Also, if you have any photos, just, you know, uh, you know delete them or back them up, then delete them, stuff like that. That would definitely help out. The next one is if you've ever jailbroken before, we're talking uh, uncover jailbreak, check rain jailbreak, you need to unjailbreak your device before doing a software update. Because when you're jailbroken, the jailbreak will block you from updating. That's kind of how it works. So you just need to go to the jailbreak tool on check rain. There's an option which says uh, the check rain loader restore system. Tap on that one and uncover. You need to turn on restore root FS. If you need help with that, best bet is to just look up a YouTube tutorial and then someone there uh, would have had a tutorial which will help you out. Next, you need to go to settings here. And what I recommend you do is you go to Wi-Fi. I and make sure if there's any proxy here, you turn that one off. Also go to general and then here VPN and device management. And you want to make sure that if any uh, VPN is turned on, you turn those off as well. Another bit of advice is if you're having issues downloading over Wi-Fi, you switch to cellular data. And if you're uh, having issues downloading over cellular data, you switch to Wi-Fi. Uh, if you have, let's say, a friend and you don't have Wi-Fi, you could always uh, have that friend set up a personal hotspot where you download the software update. That can also help as well. If those fixes do not solve the issue, then we have two options, right? The first one is we update our device manually via the iTunes application on our computer. If you don't know how to do that, I will leave a tutorial down below, but you will need access to either a Windows or Mac in order to do that. Also, an easier method is you install a delayed software update. So currently, I'm on iOS 15.0, latest firmware is 15.2. What you could do is you could download a special profile which will block the latest 15.2 and instead allow you to download the older software versions which most likely wouldn't have the install issue. So if you want to do that, I will leave that tutorial in the description and if you want to manually update to the latest iOS via iTunes, I will leave that down below as well. So really that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.